Hey, what's up, guys? Andrew Beattie back again with another video today. So, what I want to talk to you today are uh, about our proteins. Now, I'm sure as most of you guys know that protein is essential for uh, is essential for your body. So, basically, what it's essential for is the growth and repair of um, things like your bones, your skin, your muscles, uh, your teeth, your nails, your hair, all these kind of things, uh, and among other and a load of other physiological processes. So. What you can basically infer from that is uh, protein is essential for survival, basically. Now, I'm sure most of you are thinking, okay, well, I guess I get enough protein in my diet, so this doesn't really apply to me. Well, in actual fact, that's not the case because there are two different types of proteins. So you've got complete and incomplete proteins. So basically what that means is proteins are made up of amino acids, so basically smaller subunits. Now, you've got 22 amino acids in total, and of these 22, 9 are essential. So by essential, I mean you can't make them your, uh, within your body. You have to get them for certain foods. Now, um, examples of these foods are, so you've got things like red meat, fish, poultry, eggs, and, uh, and cheese. So these are examples of your, of your, of your, uh, of your proteins, with, which are 9 essential amino acids, and as such, they're complete proteins. So... What you can infer from that is you absolutely must start taking in these kind of foods throughout the day or throughout the week even. Um, now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, I get enough protein from uh, from my other sources of food. So, for example, you've got carbohydrates that have uh, that have an inherent amount of uh, of protein. But again, remember, they're not, it's, they're not combined in the nine essential amino acids and as such, they're not complete proteins. And of course, the knock-on effect of that is, uh, is going to limit or inhibit uh, some of your physiolog physiological processes within the body. So the one tip that I want you to take home from this video is start uh, start switching up your protein sources and getting in things like, uh, as I said, the fish, the red meat, the eggs, uh, the cheese and the poultry. And uh, this will have profound effects in your body. Um, if you like the content guys, make sure to subscribe in the bottom and I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Thanks.